Okay, YouTube. So, this is Melissa, and I've got a question for everybody out there. I've never done this before, so I am really, really hoping that this is kind of like, I don't know, some big anonymous internet world and somebody helps me. But, um, I have a question about people. Like, is there any good, like, in people? Like, really bad people? Is there still good inside those bad people? Like, if they hurt somebody and destroy them and crush them and devastate them and they know that and they know they hurt this person on purpose, is there enough good in them to stop hurting that person and let that person go? Or are they just rotten to the core that if they know that you will just keep going back and keep going back, they'll just keep doing it? and keep hurting you and using you to whatever personal gain they have because um i don't know i always talk about people being onions okay like you know pretty onions and not so pretty onions and bumped and bruised onions and you know some with cracks on the outside and some just look like amazingly perfect and no matter what you know no matter how the onion looks on the outside you always have to peel the first few layers you know before you start really using the onion and, um, you know, you peel people's layers back and um, some of them are perfect and they're beautiful and they're honest and they're sincere and they, they are exactly what they seem to be. And, and some of them were damaged on the outside and, and you kind of, some people would stay away from them, you know, but in reality, when you peel back those layers, they're probably even more beautiful than the ones that look perfect on the outside, you know? And then there's the ones that that they look perfect on the outside. Or maybe they've got like a couple little cracks and, you know, it's a little dry. And then you start peeling back those layers and it starts to look good, you know? And you're just like, oh, this is great, you know? Until you really get down there and, and they're rotten and spoiled and they just it just would ruin the whole dinner um your whole life um people that are those kinds of onions do they know they're those kinds of onions do they not do they think maybe maybe even though they're rotten inside that hooking up with a not so rotten onion it would get rid of it <laughs> I mean I don't know somebody tell me what what's the deal with people that hurt good people over and over and over again and what's the deal with always finding those people like you can go to the store and you're just like you know this onion just looks like crap and I'm staying away you know and then there's other times where you're just like, oh, this one's got a couple cracks and this one looks perfect. And, and you think you're making the right choices. You really do. And, and you take time and, and you're just really careful. But it just seems to be that over and over and over again, somehow you keep getting the rotten onions. <laughs> and I mean, what is, is it you? Like, is it me? Am I waiting too long? Do I make them go rotten? Or I just, I don't know. Somebody tell me. Tell me if there are people out there that are just going to be bad no matter what. If there's people out there that might be a little damaged, but they've got some redeeming qualities inside and I just got to keep trying. Or are there people out there that know they're bad? I know they're hurting you. I know you don't deserve it, but because you keep being a sucker for everything they say, they're gonna do it anyway. And why, why would you do that? If you're that kind of person, please tell me why I get wanting to hurt somebody who's like a horrible person, you know? Somebody who wronged you or somebody who's just like an evil person in general and you're like, okay, this is a bad guy and I'm a bad guy, so I'm gonna like fuck with this bad guy. Like Dexter, okay? But if you are not a really nice guy and you meet somebody 
who is seriously upfront, honest, a hundred percent, you know, what you see is what you get, and you realize that, shouldn't you stop? I mean, at least have the compassion to say, hey, you know what? I've been fooling you. I'm an asshole. You don't deserve this. I thought you were the kind of person that could deserve this, but you don't. And so it's going to hurt now, but I am going to leave because it's for your benefit, you know, because I'm an asshole and I'm only using you and not the whole, you know, I love you and I'm sorry and I want you back and then, you know, back and forth and back and forth. I mean, the games, the emotional craziness. I mean, is it, is it because you don't know you're doing it to somebody? And then some people from the outside looking in, they, they're always like, you know, if they loved you, they wouldn't put you through that. Or, you know, somebody really cared, you know, and you're a great person and you're going to find the one. You know, so tired of hearing that. So tired of hearing that. Because I think everybody's a great person and I think everybody fucks up and I think everybody deserves a chance. But if you give somebody a chance or if somebody gives you a chance, make sure you genuinely want that chance and you're just not doing it because you want to fuck them over again you know I think that if if you do something to somebody and then you're not sure about how you feel or how they feel or if you even think for just a little bit that you're planning on totally screwing their lives don't take that other chance if they're offering you a chance tell them be honest with them why Aren't people honest <laughs> about that kind of stuff? I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm asking. I'm just rambling. <laughs> so I'm just putting this out there because I'm not one to blog and type everything up. And I've tended to like just, I don't know, throw up 50 million songs about how I feel on Facebook. And that doesn't really help me any. So I think maybe by putting this video out there, maybe people see it, maybe they don't. Maybe they comment, maybe they don't. But I'd love to know. I'd really, really love to know. I mean, I don't, are, are all people rotten inside? Most people rotten inside? Does anybody have a redeeming quality that if they see they're totally, totally hurting somebody that really doesn't deserve it, especially after they told you what they've been through and what their life's been like, and you know their story, you know, why would you hurt them more? Like, what do you get out of it? What kind of pleasure or gain is there in breaking down somebody that's been down for so long? I just I want your thoughts your opinions your help your advice um when are too many chances you know when do you give up how do you know if you really should give somebody a chance or not thanks you too <laughs> bye